So we had been working in the last, in fact, 10 years in order to define the anatomy of, uh, of the city. In order to understand that a city is not only a kind of accumulation of raw material. The city, in fact, or the territory, is organized with an environment that, in fact, the environment was the place where people were living before cities. Those people living in caves, in fact, only had this first layer. They were living in places like this, using the nature just to live, taking food, taking energy from, directly from the environment. But then during the whole history of humanity, we have created uh, infrastructures and we have created different nodes. When I arrived to the city hall, I asked the chief engineer how many networks we have in Barcelona, and he said 13. I asked uh, to another department, and they say five. So it's very difficult that we develop a smart city if we don't know what is a city. The first thing we should talk and we should discuss is what is really a city. And here in Barcelona, we would like to define uh, and we would like to share with all of you an anatomy for cities, and we would like, in fact, to define a protocol in order to have a vision, uh, uh, um, uh, in order to define what a city should look like in the near future. In fact, cities have five different networks, information, the water cycle, what you are arriving from nature, and we are sending what dark water to whatever that we should obviously do in reengineering about this. We are having the matter cycle. We take uh, resources from nature. We transform in factories. We send products to city. In fact, we transform products into trash, and we send somewhere. Sometimes we produce energy with this trash. We have the energy system that today are mostly concentrated in centralized system that obviously decentralized model is coming from the industrial times, not from the information time. And we have the mobility system that allows us to connect everywhere to everywhere, from an airport to the corridor in our house. And in fact, the other crucial question is that we should understand the city as a multi scalar system. We could understand the whole planet as an accumulation of uh, three billion apartments or uh, millions of buildings or millions of blocks or neighborhoods that are in the scale of 10,000 districts, cities, regions, countries, or the whole planet. So the question is that this multi scalar approach relating nature, infrastructures, and nodes. will be the different structures that will be connecting with all these data infrastructure that we are creating in order to connect different things. Obviously, we will have sensors. We will like a system to connect these sensors to a platform where everything will be connected, and then we'll have an application that will be running on the top of this. When I arrived to the city of Barcelona, I was asking the different companies at least there were 15 companies say we are Barcelona Smart City, and there were 10 departments inside the city hall saying we are Smart City Barcelona. So there were 25 different people saying we are Smart City Barcelona. We should have only one Smart City Barcelona, one Smart City London, or whatever. So we should really not have a partial vision about energy, water, mobility, housing, or whatever. We should have an integral vision in order to, uh, to be able really to interact and to do real engineering, connecting a water system with the energy system, with the trash system, with the, at the scale of the block, for example. So another important question is that the, if we add people, obviously we could see the city as a relation between the Roman civitas, that means people, organization, companies, the polis, that is the infrastructure we were talking before, and the system of governance. I am sure all the applications that you have, you are developing for smart polis, smart economy, smart buildings, etc can be fit in a drawing like this. So that's why 
Barcelona, and this is something the mayor of Barcelona announced yesterday. We want to develop the city protocol. We want to define the city parameters in order to evaluate the quality of cities. And in fact, what we will be doing will be uh, trying to understand how and what we should transform in cities in order to move towards uh, a direction. Our vision is that cities should become self-sufficient from the energy and the, from the production point of view. Economy will be more related to sharing knowledge and sharing information than not exactly sharing goods. Neil Hersenfield will be talking about this and about how we can fabricate everything that we need or nearly everything that we need in cities. So the question is, more than putting sensors in systems that are obsolete, we should think great model of cities we want to create, we should think how we are going to transform the 16 uh, cities that we already have, and then smart cities and smart technologies should help in uh, this transformation and, uh, and obviously will allow to evaluate in real time how the cities are working, how uh, this transformation is going on. City protocol will be the lead, the LAAD of cities. And this is a global alliance that we would like to launch with all of you in order to have this protocol in 10 years that should be run by a non-profit, something equivalent to the internet protocols that is run by a non-profit organization that will be evolving during the time, but basically we will be defining a kind of a standard of cities in order, let's say, to remove uh, or to define a very clear parameters in order to, to talk properly about what a good city is and what a good city is not. 